wonderful to see you. Wonderful. Mm. Welcome. Great to see you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. All right, fine. Good. Let's get right into it. Um, when you were about 15, 17 years old, living in Kenya, um, you were in the streets protesting for uh, the death of this man, um, in favor of it, I should say, uh, Salman Rushdie, and and uh, and. Uh, <laughs> Forgive me for wanting to ban your book, uh, <laughs> but uh, it wasn't just the book. Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> when I learned that he had to be killed for what he said, I agreed with it fully. And there was this community center, community center close to where I went to school, and we were with a number of students, and you know, we were discussing the so many attack on Islam and this was now coming from a Muslim and we felt the betrayal and uh, there were some guys who said uh, we're going to burn uh, his book and uh, I joined in and I'm ashamed that I did that now but I'm so yeah, sorry yeah. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> you know there are, there are many people who were involved uh, in the protests against the satanic verses who now really understand that it was a very wrong thing to do and you know in some ways it may have served a purpose Absolutely. you know that it, that it yeah. actually showed people yeah. that that was a wrong process yeah. you know and i think many people even the people who demonstrated would now say that yeah i really do believe that it was what i learned from it was i was trying to have a man killed whom i had never met and i was participating in the burning of a book i had not read so Actually, what I was doing was I was demonstrating for ignorance. What does it mean to you that you are now sitting next to that man? Um, that I've grown up, um, that I have lost the fear of hell, and I've lost the fear of if I am seen with Salman Rushdie, that there are people who will think within my family, among the Muslims and so on, who will say, she too deserves to die, and see that as a betrayal. I've learned to tell the truth to myself and to lose the fear of um, hell and to value knowledge for what it is and for the truth that it brings to us and not hide away from it or react aggressively because I've been programmed to react in that way. What does it mean to you, Mr. Rajdi, sitting next to Ayan Hirsiali? Well, I'm very proud of her for what she has uh, been brave enough uh, to begin because I think these are only beginnings you know I mean there is a, a great deal that is not done and that neither of us may by ourselves be able to do but I think what you see now is almost every week there are new voices speaking